as the dawn of the day knocks at my door, fear grabs me and convicts me to the call of duty. A call to duty with force of uncertainty, knowing pretty well that the environment out there is not safe to step out. Everyone is under lockdown, but how can I lock my door down, knowing very well that God is saving lives through me? Indeed, this is a hard time to choose between duty and reality. Back in school, where my lecturer used to say, this profession is a calling and a noble one. Yes, indeed, it is, because I could have stayed home with my family. But I keep hearing the voice of duty, now causing my fellows to love my profession out of pity. Oh, I now know that a white uniform, the stethoscope, the lab coat isn't just for deco, but an echo of duty. Now this same uniform you admire is what I cannot even wear them back home. Oh, what a COVID. I remember when I used to come home with my two-year daughter waiting at the door to give me a warm hug, look through my eyes and say to me with her little voice, I miss you, daddy. By this time, I calmly turn my back and say to her, this is not an ordinary times, honey. Tears broke up and out of doubt she asked, but daddy, why? With her knowing not much that after that moment, I'm as much scary as a scarecrow that she fears. I now sleep in a separate room, use a separate washroom, pick up fools at the door. Oh, it is unpleasant. Now, here I am waiting for my test results in my self-quarantine room for good 14 days with my fingers crossed like a Ghanaian waiting for his president to give an update of heart or luck. Down on my knees, I pray to God to heal my land, I believe has been the cry of every frontliner, so as every citizen. Now, whenever the cock crows at dawn, my heart skips a beat, a beat which is not seen on electrocardiogram, nor heard on echocardiogram, but the strums of drum hitting the doors of my heart, so hard that I'm caught between these hard ethical values that are taught to be only read in school. But here in my cold rooms, I'm really stuck between beneficence and normal sense. Yes, I now feel the reality, because I definitely know that this shift might end in praise or tears. Hopes are gone, fears has grasped my soul. Indeed, it is a hard time. But whenever the thought of giving up comes in mind, the only sound that hits the door of my heart so hard like a song melodiously tuned at dawn is Hen Ara Yana Sassini, Eye Abodindin Mayen, Mojana Nanum Shegudi Tso Mayano, a Drew Mene was so so, say a baby at so, and it goes on and on and on. As I encourage myself with these words in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, which says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. As you stand tall and define all us as frontline soldiers to help keep this menace, we say, the Lord that sees secretly will reward you in the open. We strongly rally behind you with all our prayers, hearts, and minds, and we say, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, our frontline workers. And I call a call to duty. <laughs> <laughs>